Okay, um, just uh, finished installing a ray pack uh, 250,000 BTU uh, pole heater. Just doing a leak test. Uh, and got this gas coming under from underground, so they have their shut off valve, which is good. And let's see. So there is another shut off valve here. And just let's do a quick leak test here. We're good. And uh, yeah, been installing uh, it's a millivolt system. I've been installing this for the last uh, four years. Rate pack, uh, very solid units, uh, very reliable uh, pool heaters. So, this is the uh, plumbing parts that's our pump. Um, the other thing is, uh, I see uh, in a lot of installations they miss uh, to bound the unit. You see the ground wire, the green wire here, and uh, so that has just in case if the uh, uh, pool heater gets hit by lightning, you know. So that goes to the junction box, the box, and then from there it's tied into uh, the electrical panel. And it's very important to have that wire. I would say 8 out of 10 installations I see, they miss that wire, especially on millivolt systems. And, uh, yep, very, uh, very um, good units, you know, these are inch and a half return, that's our return, that's our supply pipe. And uh, leak test done by a yellow jacket uh, leak detector, it's, it's a combustible gas leak detector. It's good for natural gas, propane, or you can even use it for a refrigerant R290 because uh, it's 99.5% uh, propane. That's uh, the new refrigerant that they use on small, uh, you know, coolers, display region coolers. Um, I work on a few. Uh, next time I work on those, I'll probably make a video. Anyways, uh, ciao.